Alright, I don't think I scared you. Lumos Maxima. Hey there, Wizard in the World. So last year, I partially fulfilled a dream of mine, which was creating some cool magical props, kind of inspired from the Wizard in the World and Harry Potter. But the one thing I did want to do, uh, but I wasn't sure what doing, was creating uh, these guys, which are the magical floating pumpkins, which you've seen in the Great Hall uh, when you watched the Harry Potter movie. Um, I was kind of unsure how to do it. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I learned a lot, though. And now hopefully I can get to show you guys kind of how to make your own magical folding pumpkin. So check it out. So you're going to start off with a couple of nine inch round balloons. Uh, you're going to get rope twine and tie it around a balloon where the pumpkin is going to be at. And you're going to bring it all together at the top. Go ahead and get your paper mache mix. I use toilet paper. Uh, really strong exterior wood glue and water and I kind of place it like where the ridges are going to be at. Now once the top's dry you're going to flip it over and apply the mache to the bottom. And once that's dry go ahead and get metal wire and kind of place it uh, where the rope twine is going to be at but you only need to do two uh, lines of metal wire. You're going to bring that together at the top and you're going to do kind of do like a safety twist so you can see right here using pliers. And right there in the middle, where that triangle is, that's where I'm going to hang it from. You're going to apply another layer over that, and then you're going to go ahead and make your outline once that's dry. Okay, now you get to carve. So I used to drive all handsaw and a military knife because these are super hard to cut into. Um, right here, you can see the pumpkins painted. This is where I made a mistake. Um, you're going to want to head and go ahead and carve a door for your tea light now. Um, I got it secured using two fishing lines, kind of to swing open and shut uh, for easy access just to put the tea light in, change out the batteries or whatever might be the case. Go ahead and apply um, another layer of the glue and the water and that's going to smooth out the cracks. I got primer and paint now. no flames and there you go now this guy reminds me a lot of Voldemort and hey hmm, who's that oh bonus so I really wanted to make a Niffler so I'm gonna do this super quick um I haven't sculpted anything since I was a kid but I want a Niffler so here we go and one more tutorial as a bonus um, just take a cheap plastic uh, cauldron, aluminum foil, uh, kind of fold it around, wrap it like, kind of like splashing flames, throw an LED light in and turn off the lights. And I'm going to show you at the end here how I kind of bring the Niffler and the potions and the pumpkins all together at night. Looks really cool.